production of sabin vaccine here also the first step is cultivation of viruses sabin vaccine is produced as live attenuated vaccine so animal tissues are grown and prepared according to the protocol as described under production of salk vaccine so the same medium is used here that is sterile m199 medium after incubation the bottles are added with fresh nutrient medium and inoculated with three zero types of polio viruses separately in the next step of attenuation that is inactivating the virus the process of weakening of viruses is called as attenuation that is to convert virulent strains of virus to a virulent strains that means there should be loss of virulence from the viruses the contents of the bioreactor are incubated for 48 hours only or before the bursting of cells occur that means uh, this is the period before the completion of total life cycle of virus this the viruses are allowed to multiply in cells and harvested before the completion of their life cycle this step is very important for the attenuation process the viral suspension is then transferred to fresh cell lines and harvesting is done before the completion of life cycle again so this step is repeated several times and the key feature of this step is the cells are harvested or the viruses are harvested before the completion of the life cycle in the animal cell the continuous process of subculturing is called as passaging that is these above mentioned repetitions so passaging causes the viruses to lose their virulence loss of virulence is checked by inoculation in experimental animals such as guinea pigs or rabbits and they are observed for the development of any significant clinical symptoms these live early learned strains of viruses are then fully cultivated in cell lines as described under the production of salk vaccine that is as described in the last chapter and the titer of the viruses is checked frequently by the tests such as enzyme link immunosorbent assay or radio immune assay that is elisa or ria third step is harvesting for the harvesting centrifugation and filtration of the viral suspension is done through bacteriological filters that is for the purpose of separation of contamination contaminants and kidney tissues then the next step is concentration 500 fold concentration is done by the method of ultra filtration as described in the earlier ppt this is followed by purification by gel filtration on cipherous column and by ion exchange chromatography the viral titer is then checked regularly during the process by the tests mentioned above like elisa or ria with the use of standard antiviral antibodies fourth step is blending that is mixing in the final stages blending is done that involves the mixing of different viral or virulent strains that is three viral zero types to form a bulk in a large vessel fifth step is filling the purified viral suspension may be mixed with preservatives and flavors the preparation is filled in sterile ampules or vials in this step there may be addition of different flavors because this vaccine is given orally and frequently it is given in the children's children therefore in order to make this vaccine flavorful 
Several additives like orange flavor, lemon flavor, etc. may be added to improve the taste of this vaccine. Sixth step is potency test. The preparation is tested for its potency, that means its potential uh, of immunogenicity. So this is done by inoculation in chicks or guinea pigs, followed by measuring the development of antibodies by measuring antibody titer. Seventh step is safety test. It is performed by inoculating monkey spinal cord. The animals are then observed for clinical symptoms and uh, their lesions are compared with those produced by standard reference vaccine. Since this is a live vaccine and as it, it was mentioned earlier that this vaccine follows the natural route. So after vaccinating the animal may suffer from mild illness. This is a protocol or the flow sheet for the production of Sabine vaccine. The first step is cultivation of viruses in 5 to 10 liters. Uh, roller bottles containing sterile medium 199 then they are inoculated with monkey kidney tissues followed by that incubation and then inoculation of this preparation with poliovirus serotype in large fermenters having capacity of 1000 to 3300 liters followed by that there is an incubation period of 48 hours. Remember that there is no completion of life cycle of virus within 48 hours. So this represents incomplete life cycle. After 48 hours, the contents from the first fermenter are transferred to the next fermenter containing fresh kidney tissues. Again, the incubation period is 48 hours and after incubation, the contents are then again transferred to the next fermenter containing fresh kidney tissues. Followed by that, uh, then there is a period allowed for the completion of life cycle. That means unless and until the bursting occurs, the viral suspension is not harvested. After the completion of life cycle, that means after the viruses are released in the suspension, the harvesting is done. Then after har during harvesting, there is filtration and centrifugation for the separation of cell debris. Followed by that, there is purification by using ultra filtration and gel filtration technique. Frequently, there is uh, testing for viral titer, that means the number of viral particles present. Then blending, that involves mixing of three serotypes, then filling. Then potency test and finally 